Trident Wargaming. Build it, paint it, play it. Hey guys, Andy here from Trident Wargaming coming to you with another unboxing video. Uh, this time it's for Star Wars Legion with a couple of the new kits that have been out for a little bit now. Uh, we got the AA-5 speeder truck and the LAAT uh, patrol transport. Uh, two new kits, uh, vehicle kits for Legion. They look pretty awesome. There's been some fun with them. Different paint jobs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Winnebago jokes. But uh, this this episode of unboxing, we're going to go through both of them and kind of show you what's in the box set and uh, compare them to some sizes of, of some of the miniatures and whatnot. So uh, stick around and hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, and here we go. We're starting with the lat transport. Uh, as you can see, this is the main body for the actual kit. It's very large. Um, I do want to show you in comparison to another model how large this is. And we're going to start with the Rebel Speeder, the Air Speeder. Now, this is just the body, so um, fairly big. It, it's going to be a, a big silhouette on the board. So that's the size to the Speeder. And we'll bring in uh, the other speeder so you can see as well. Okay, so still fairly large. And we do have a couple of miniatures here just to compare it to as well. Just some infantry. There you go. So there's that section. Uh, I do will show you the other sprues as well and here is another one of them the rest of the body uh, pretty neat you got the little turrets and whatnot and uh, there's your window piece right there there's a lot of lot of pieces to this kit uh, I've noticed that the newer kits are starting to go like that especially the vehicles Here's your wings and extra pieces as well. Fairly nicely detailed. Um, they're going with the sprue system, obviously, as you can see. Uh, I kind of like that. Gives you some options to play around with magnetizing during assembly. So uh, a couple other sprues that come with it as well. Uh, here's your wings. Uh, very nice details on the panels here. Uh, they're pretty nice. Uh, everything's pretty sharp and there's like really no mole lines which is really really awesome. So that's that's good to see. We'll throw that guy over there. We got one more sprue to show you. Actually a couple more sprues, sorry. But um, some ball turrets, some more parts to the hull structure. And then a couple extra little bits. So a fair bit. Then you get your uh, transparent glass and stand as well. The usual stand. It's pretty tall. So here's your glass here. Pretty clean. Neat little, neat little kit, that's for sure. And then we have uh, the base, pretty large. I'm not 100% sure it's the same size as the ATST or the Trade Federation battle tank. Uh, I'll have to check that out, but it is quite large even compared to uh, just the, the speeder here. So just giving you guys a, a look at it. And then we have the other sprue, which is is pretty neat as well. It has the pilots and whatnot. This one's pretty neat. Let me just bring this one up. Uh, let's see if I could zoom that in for you guys. So here's your sprue with them. Uh, four pilots, different uh, different heads, arms. You have the Republic and also the Imperial 
options for the kit. We'll turn that around to see if you get some more details. So there you go. The uh, Republic troopers, I believe, are phase two right there. They're a solid head, whereas the Imperial pilots right there are two different pieces. So you can play around with that. I'm sure there'll be a lot of guys converting and doing their own thing with them. But overall, pretty neat kit. Uh, it'll be exciting to get this on the go eventually. And having it on the board, it's going to be pretty pretty big. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the kit. For the sprues, you do get the big instruction manual. Uh, it's a big fold-up manual, which lots of instructions to it, right? So, like so. I'll let you guys check that out when you guys get the kit. Pretty neat. And then we uh, will go into the cards right after. Okay, so moving on to the cards. Uh, as you can see, we got the two for the Empire and the Republic. They are pretty much identical, just except for the uh, faction um, icon. Same points, same abilities, uh, everything you see here, plus uh, on the back as well, they have the fixed front. So same thing, uh, lots of abilities on them, that's for sure. So it'll take some use to get used to when you're playing these guys. Uh, a lot of little abilities. <clears throat> so there you go. And we'll go on to the other cards. Okay, and here we go. We have some cards. The We're starting with the Empire uh, cards. So here's uh, the pretty much the pilots. So you have Governor Price and Baron Rudor. Some neat little abilities. Uh, Governor Price, she's a field commander. And... Uh, Nominate him as commander, pretty much. Also, you can choose a friendly trooper unit that you're transporting at range 1 to 2, and it gains an aim and one suppression token, so that's pretty neat. Uh, only 10 points, it's not too bad. And then Baron Rudor is a marksman, pretty much gain marksman when you're attacking. And then after you recover, you can gain one aim token for 12 points. So... Uh, pretty neat, a little different. Uh, we also have for the Empire, we do have the Imperial TIE pilot. This one's neat because it increases your speed by one, so now you're even faster. Then we have the Republic cards. So Clone Commander Fox and Hound and Grizzer. So again, field commander, uh, pretty much the same thing as Governor Price almost, except that you gain a surge token and remove a suppression token. So applying that to the trooper unit that you're transporting. Uh, whereas Hound and Grizzer uh, gain observe four at the enemy range one to three and in line of sight and it gains four observer tokens so same price points a little different uh, you also get with it the clone shock trooper so after you your transmit to sparks it gains one surge token and either one aim or one dodge pretty handy four points pretty cheap so pretty pretty good card there uh, now we have some of the other cars that come with the set as well. Uh, onboard comms channel, linked targeting array, and HQ uplink. So I'll take a look at those cards there. I'm not going to quite go through them, but you guys can see what comes in it. I might be interested to put into some of your other characters and whatnot and troopers. So pretty neat. You get those three. Um, you also get some ammunition gear by the looks of it. 
I will just place those there. So these are interesting changes up your weaponry and, and whatnot. So high energy shells, a lot of rules there for them. High velocity, all that stuff. Can't spend dodge tokens. Pretty good. Uh, armor piercing shells. Uh, impact three for armor. Fixed front and cycle. So at the end of your activation, if you didn't use this card, ready it. So there's that. And then you have bunker buster shells. Uh, it's a blast, so you're ignoring cover. It has cycle as well. They actually all have cycle. Fixed front and then scatter. Uh, so you pretty much, you know, kind of push the unit around kind of thing, right? So um, 8, 10, and 12 points. They're fairly high, depending what you want to do with them. Um, you got options. And that is about it for the cards for the vehicles. Then you get your tokens, the usual. Okay. And next up will be the Rebel AA5 speeder truck. Okay, so next up we have the Rebel AA5 speeder truck. This thing is a bus. It's pretty big. This is the hull, the main hull on the sides. Now, I'm going to bring the Rebel speeder out here as well to show you again. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a bus. It's huge, right? So one, almost two, two sizes of these speeders. That's the hull there, the main hull. Uh, you do get pretty cool up top. Just the speeders, speeder pilot. So there's that. I will show you the pretty much the other parts to the hull it's pretty wide pretty big like it's as wide as the speeder pretty much but lots of nice detail to it right it's pretty neat panels this is actually the bottom <laughs> but uh, they've done really good with these kits I like them I'm hoping they continue like that with them. Here's some more panels for you to take a look at. Doorways and whatnot. Again, lots of nice detail. Nice detail here as well. Just one of your weapons. Check that out. Here's another sprue. There's there's actually a fair bit of sprue in this kit. Um, that's your pretty much the front, your cockpit of the of the vehicle. So it's fairly big. Nice detail again. It'll be a fun kit to play around with. I'm sure a lot of guys will paint them up all funky colors. Uh, here is another part of the hull. So multiple layers, multiple designs. Uh, nice detail again smooth lines no real crazy mold lines which is fantastic and we have one more again <clears throat> nice detail lots of stuff you can do with this so have fun with that i will show you the glass pretty simple straightforward right you get this little stand okay now the base size fairly large that's that's the base there compared to speeder about the same width but just oblong so and there you have it that's what comes with the kit uh, of course, you do get the instruction manual, which, you know, same kind of thing. Just a big old pamphlet. So, lots of instructions. Hope you enjoyed that. 
and we'll be going on to the cards next. Okay, and here we have the AA5 speeder truck card. A uh, fair bit of abilities on it and upgrades that you can get. I believe it's about the same uh, stats here as the lat as well. So there's a good take, in, take a look at that. Hover ground, armor, reposition, transport, course, and weak point. So there's a weak point on it. Don't let things get behind you. Um, and then that's about it. It's just some blurb on the other side of it. Next, we will have uh, some of the other cards. We'll uh, place some here for you. So a couple of the, I think there's actually got a fair bit of cards that come with. So you get two of those. I don't know if you can see them all, but there we go. So you get these that come with it. Uh, Shriv, he's field commander. Uh, eight, 10 points for him. So choosing a friendly trooper unit you're transporting at range one or two, it gains one dodge token and may gain one suppression token, very similar to the other vehicle. Uh, hot shot pilot, gain sharpshooter. And then you have reckless driver. So there's a bit of little stuff there. You also get with them, uh, you get two outer rim speeder jockeys so you're gaining cover and you do get a whole bunch of other cards here as well I'll show you so refurbished gonk droid another two of those there you go so the speeder truck and land speeder only which is interesting uh, you gain uh, shielded two during the in phase, roll one red defense dice for each of your inactive shield tokens for each uh, hit result flip one inactive shield token for 10 points. So you have the gonk droid. You also have an unstable R5 astromech. Oh no. You get two of those. Again, the AA5 or the X34 land speeder. Uh, at the end of your activation, perform an attack or move, then roll three black attack dice and suffer one wound for each crit a hit and crit results so there you go now you get some other cards here northwest tactician back world medic let's take a look at those fairly high price for them some different abilities different mechanics for the game Pretty neat. And then of course you get your onboard comms channel, uh, linked targeting array. Same as the other pack, you get those. And then we have some weapon upgrades. So heavy laser retrofit, uh, to get the rainbow crit for long range at one to four 16 points though um not too bad the ag 2g quad laser one to three uh you get six black dice impact to very expensive 36 points but if you are taking one of these big vehicles could be worth it depends how you play um, and those are the cards that you get with the AA5 speeder. And of course you get your tokens as well. Same kind of idea. Rebel tokens. And there you have it. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, we will have more to come in the future. Uh, anywhere from Star Wars Legion, Bolt Action, Warhammer... Uh, even some Marvel Crisis Protocol, and just whatever game we're into, Battletech, even that as well. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. 
Uh, check out our Instagram. Check out our Facebook. Podbean, our podcast. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, we love to hear from you guys as well. If there's anything that you guys want to see, maybe, or interested in, I may have it in my, as some of you guys might know, my inventory. Um, hit me up. Message me um, through Trident. Uh, just sh give us a shout out. Let us know what you think. Again, thank you very much, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time.